Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of the Tombstone Tourist. Today I'm at the Sunset Memory Gardens a few miles east of Charlotte in the community of Mint Hill, North Carolina. Sunset is a large 90-acre cemetery that was established about 60 years ago. Like most of the modern cemeteries, it has mostly flat markers. Unless you have the burial information or GPS coordinates, it's almost impossible to find a particular grave. Like always, before arriving at the cemetery, I checked to find a grave website to see if any of the graves that I'm looking for has the plot or GPS locations recorded. Only one of the three graves that I wanted to visit today has the location information. So, I use the GPS coordinates and quickly find the grave of NASCAR pioneer, Tim Vlock. Tim Flock was born in Fort Payne, Alabama on May the 11th, 1924. As young adults, Tim and his brothers Bob and Fonty, who also raced, eventually found their way to North Carolina and began racing on short tracks around Charlotte. In 1949, all three of the Flock brothers competed in NASCAR's inaugural season, and all three finished in the top 10 of the season-long point standings. Bob finished third, Fonty fifth, Tim finished eighth. Tim was forced to sit out the 1950 season because of injuries related to a crash, but he returned in 1951, winning seven times. In 1952, Tim sat on four poles, won eight races, on his way to winning his first NASCAR Series championship. Tim's best season was in 1955 when he competed in 45 races, winning a record 19 poles and taking the checkered flag 18 times, on his way to winning his second NASCAR Series Championship. The 19 poles is a record that still stands today, and his 18 wins was a record that stood until Richard Petty set a new record with 19 Series wins in 1967. Tim's sense of humor was legendary around the NASCAR circuit. It was never more evident than on May 16, 1953, when Tim raced with a pet monkey he named Jocko Flacco. On that day, Tim and Jocko captured the checkered flag in the NASCAR Grand National Race at the Hickory Motor Speedway in Hickory, North Carolina. Jocko Flacco's success was short-lived, however, as he retired a couple weeks later. To this day, Jocko Flacco is the only winning monkey in NASCAR history. In 1960, Tim and fellow driver Curtis Turner attempted to organize the drivers under the banner of the Teamsters Union. NASCAR founder Big Bill France refused to allow any driver associated with the union effort to compete in any NASCAR sanctioned race. He ended up banning Turner and Flock for life. Being banned from NASCAR, Tim continued to race for other organizations, but never achieved the success he had with NASCAR. He eventually retired from driving and began a long association with the Charlotte Motor Speedway, where he worked in ticket sales and public relations. In 1991, Tim returned to the track to compete in a special legends race at the Charlotte Motor Speedway. The race featured such legends as Cale Yarborough, Pete Hamilton, and Junior Johnson, and the eventual race winner, Elmo Langley. Tim finished 10th out of 22 drivers. As part of NASCAR's 50th anniversary season, Tim was named one of the sport's 50 greatest drivers. He was inducted into the National Motorsports Press Association Hall of Fame in 1972 
and the International Motorsports Hall of Fame in 1991. And in 2014, Tim Flock was inducted into the NASCAR Hall of Fame here in Charlotte, North Carolina. In 1997, Tim was diagnosed with cancer and the disease would eventually claim his life on May 31st, 1998, just a few weeks shy of his 74th birthday. Resting next to Tim is his son, Donald was an avid motorcycle rider and NASCAR fan, as you can tell by the NASCAR and motorcycle emblem on his marker. And Donald's son, Timothy, who was obviously named after his grandfather. There are two other notable NASCAR figures buried here time NASCAR Winston Cup flagman Harold Kinder and popular independent driver Elmo Langley who went on to drive the pace car for the Winston Cup series after he retired from the track. Neither of their graves have burial locations recorded on their find a grave memorial and it being a Sunday the office is closed so hopefully one of these days I can return to visit them. So with that, I'm going to close this video out. If you found this video interesting, please give me a thumbs up. And I would really appreciate it if you'd ring that bell and subscribe to keep up with my future adventures. And if you have a favorite Tim Vlock or NASCAR memory, be sure to leave me a comment. So until next time, just remember, life is short. Be sure to slow down and enjoy the journey. I'll see you down the road. So long, everyone.